Well, half of all Australian adults are expected to try their luck at tonight's record $200 million Powerball jackpot. pot. So what would you do if you won the jackpot? Would you spend it all at once, keep it quiet or tell all your friends and family? Joining us live now is David Lane. He's a financial advisor from Audmanet. David, good to see you. Thanks for your time. A lot of us might be imagining buying a private jet <laughs> or perhaps our very own tropical island. But what would the smart thing be to do with that money? Yes, well, that's exactly right. It's certainly, uh, I guess, human nature t to think about what you might do with the money. Uh, but probably some of the best advice is to not rush and do anything. Uh, don't don't uh, you know, be, be rash in your decisions. And there are many, many people in the past who've won lotteries or, or had a lot of money uh, received at a large, at a significant uh, point in their life and gone and blown the lot. They've gone and bought cars, boats, uh, paid for houses for other people, et cetera. And uh, ultimately, in the long term, that isn't the right thing to do. So the, the best advice for that one winner of the, the $200 million would be to certainly seek financial advice from a financial advisor, uh, think long term and think about diversifying the investments rather than actually blowing the lot on, uh, on flash cars and, and holidays, et cetera. Dave, why do you think it is so difficult for people to, to hold on to that newfound money when they get it? As you point out, it is a story that we've all heard. Someone made a huge windfall gain and they've blown it pretty quickly. I mean, we don't want to cry too many tears for people who strike it rich <laughs> unexpectedly, but it does seem like that, that scenario is a pretty overwhelming situation. Yeah, well, it can be, and particularly if you're in a situation where you haven't had a significant significant amount of money in the past uh, and aren't aware of, of how to manage that money, it, it can be obviously exciting and and you want to go and tell all your family and friends, and sometimes that's actually the, the wrong thing to do because very often uh, they're the people that can take advantage of you. Uh, we see it quite a lot in uh, the NBA in, in America that young athletes get con contracts and then they end up buying... 10 different houses for 10 different family members and uh, they're, they're very quickly, um, the cash is gone. So certainly think long-term, think logically uh, uh, and put that money to play. And you know, if somebody was lucky enough to win that $200 million, they could do nothing, put it away in a term deposit or into uh, a good investment portfolio. They could actually generate $10 million a year of income off that $200 million asset pool. So certainly $200 million is a, is a massive amount of money. If one person was to win it, uh, they could invest it wisely and still live a fantastic life for a long, long period of time. For sure, yeah. You can imagine they'd really have a, a target on their back for people wanting to get them tied up in investment schemes, whether they be scams or legitimate. Yes. So certainly some financial advice seems like the, the smart move because I mean, it is tax-free, isn't it, even at that ridiculous level of $200 million? Yes, that's right. The initial, uh, yeah, the initial win would be tax-free. Uh, in the future, any earnings that they receive from that money would be taxable. Uh, but, yes, absolutely, it, it is tax-free. So certainly, uh, yeah, a, a lot of money. Uh, and as you mentioned, there's reportedly one in two Australians have, have bought a ticket in, in the Powerball. So even if it does go off tonight, chances are that 200 million could be uh, split across a, a number of different people. So it may not be uh, to, to one individual. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? David Lane, really appreciate you joining us with your tips. Uh, hopefully the lucky winner has heard some of your advice and, and does something worthwhile with the cash. Thanks so much. Pleasure. Thanks for that.